Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. You didn't tell me your cousin was back in town. Ah, do I detect a certain attraction to the dashing private detective from Milan? Oh, what of it? He's cute. Actually, uh, well, I really shouldn't tell you this, but he's here about a case. The client is Francesca DeSantis. You know, the, the female doctor that's staying at uh, Villa Caruso. Really? Wonder what she wants with a snoop. Well, you didn't hear it from me, okay? 
Where'd you see him, anyway? A couple of streets over, sleeping on a bench. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Sal for you. Always look. Miss DeSantis, Sal Falcone. Sorry for the delay, I needed uh, to be activated. Uh, tie up some few loose ends. Yeah, yeah, just got into town. Down at the pier? Sure. Straight away? All right, no time like the present. Um, see you in a bit. Oh, huh. sexy voice. they're doing over at Villa Caruso? It's got them scared shit. tell you? Ah, Christ, you know, what do I pay her for? Anyway, uh, I got a split, Curly. I'm waiting for an address here. Look, I'll give you word when uh, when I get back. You know, we'll, we'll shoot some pool. Get you back on your feet. All right? Oh, Curly, you human punching bag. How are you, sir? That is Francesca DeSantis. Ah, Mr. Falcone. Looking slightly out of place. So, uh, what's this about? Oh, walk with me. This is all too public for my tastes.
This is far enough. Mr. Falcon, what I am about to ask you might be highly unorthodox. Go on. About a month ago, Silvio Caruso hired you for an acquisition job. I need to know what exactly it was you acquired, and why. I'm afraid I can't do that. P.I. Confidentiality. I, I, I am willing to pay you handsomely. You could retire. Hire others to dig through garbage. Don't think so. I like to get my hands dirty. <sighs> if you wanted to claim the moral high ground, you could have done so over the phone. Saved us both a trip. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Target down. Next up, Silvio Caruso. slip up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel morgue, and I want to pay my respects. Say how sorry I am. But he's dead, Father. And nothing I say will bring him back. If I go, am I merely being selfish? My child. Grief is for the living, not the dead. You do whatever you need to do. Because his sorrow has ended, and yours has not. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I will. Entering the Ether Lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Room secure. Leave me, Bernard. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I want to be alone. Ma'am? Oh, look at you. You're dead, and you still look stressed out. <laughs> so, now I have you to feel guilty about. Great. We build a weapon that will kill thousands. And all we feel is intellectual curiosity. Isn't human psychology a laugh? <laughs> DeSantis asked me if I'm still committed. Like we're on a crusade. We say this virus will end all war, but the truth is, we have no idea, and we don't care. We're just monkeys poking the unknown with a stick, and what of it? The 
There is nothing as potent as an idea whose time has come. No, I don't have second thoughts. But still, being here, I wonder. Hey, if God is mad, give me a heads up, will ya? Hey, stay safe. Just sit here for a bit. Dr. Lafayette speaking. Just so, hey, I'm outside Villa Caruso now, enjoying a coffee in the sun. Lovely town. So, anything I should know about Dr. Caruso before our first session? I was briefed on his anxiety attacks, his genophobia. Hmm, very well. Don't you worry, Caruso is not the first troubled genius I have turned around. Just look at Jordan Cross. I'll have young Silvio calm and serene in no time. And you as well. Sorry, sir. I am the one apologizing here. Ciao. Oh. Can I help you with anything? I wonder what flavor yes, that sir. is. That's brown. It's like chocolate or, or fudge or, or chocolate fudge or I don't know, but I'm gonna get, oh, I, should, I should get that one and that one and that one and get the middle one. I'm not talking to the that's just weird in the mouth when they mix, and I don't want them to mix. They have to be in a line. It has to be in a line. All right there? <sighs> I love this place. It's so quiet and sleepy. Ciao, Sal. out walking Fidel, and I see this convoy of black trucks with the ether logo, no headlights or anything, coming up the coastal road towards Villa Caruso. Yeah? Okay. Caruso works for ether. He's got some kind of home laboratory. Like, I'm sure he needs chemicals and 
dry ice and shit. Really? Dry ice? That's all I remember from high school physics. What, what's your point? How about the hazmat suit? The has... What are you talking about? I hid in the bushes, and I caught a glimpse of a bio suit. Like the ones you see in those contagion movies. I made my skin itch. Oh, you, you're for real this time. A bio suit? What the hell are they making in there? Well, I'll bet you a beer. It's not beauty products. Man, this place is any to spend the winter. brother about this. He's a he's a journalist. Hey, there might be a story here. I'm glad you think so. Guess my stories aren't so bad after all, are they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't milk it. Okay. I don't feel so hot. Ah, no, no, no. Amping up security around here. Bit of overkill, don't you think? Nah, just protecting their investment. They put a lot of. <laughs> Dr. Oscar Lafayette, here to see Mr. Caruso. Just relax, you'll be on your way in a sec. Green light, go ahead, sir. You're expected, go right in. Oscar Lafayette. I have an appointment with Mr. Caruso. Ah, yes. Senor Caruso has been informed of your arrival. Please, follow me. I shall take you to his quarters. And may I say, it is well that you are here, Doctor. The Master has not been himself lately. I... well... I only hope you are as good as they say. Don't worry. I am. Dr. Lafayette? Uh, what's up, Doc? Senor Caruso's private quarters. I will be downstairs if needed. Best of luck. That is Silvio Caruso. The renowned Dr. Oscar Lafayette. Mr. Caruso, shall we begin? If you insist. So, Ether sends a specialist to rummage through my brain. They must think I'm losing it again. Relax. Start by telling me what's on your mind. Isn't it obvious? I'm under a lot of pressure. Work. Mother died last year. Stress manifests itself in the strangest ways, I am told. Your mother, Isabella. 
Would you like to talk about her? Look, I... I know what you're driving at. My neuroses. My anxiety. My social phobias. Not the least my pathological fear of women. It's all deeply rooted. Go on. I had a girlfriend, you know. In high school. Pretty, too. Popular. And I was shy. Bookish. It shouldn't have worked. Not outside those stupid teen dramedies. But it did. For a short while, anyway. Then Mother decided that Amelia wasn't a good influence on me. So she paid the gardener's son to seduce her. He was 20. Roguish. Rode a motorcycle. Mother, she... She... Had pictures taken. Showed them to me on prom night. Romantic love is fleeting, she said. Only a mother's love endures. What... What do you want me to say? I loved my mother. I hated my mother. Same as everybody else. Isabella bullied you. Shame belittled you. Made you feel like a failure. All to keep you, a last and loyal son, from ever leaving too. Stop it! I don't want to hear it. Your mother was a monster. Is that not why you killed her? What? How dare you? You couldn't breathe. She smothered you. So you smothered her. Is that how it happened? Yes! Right. I did it. I did it. Are you happy now? Is that supposed to be cathartic? Well, guess again, Doctor. Back to the drawing board. I think we have made some excellent progress. Same time tomorrow? Good day, Mr. Caruso. Welcome, Dr. Lafayette. Come out now! No problem. Today, Doctor. Nerves? Oh, don't be. This is just a formality. This field lab. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. Are you only fine? As long as everything's quiet, I'm fine. Yeah, you know what you mean. All this tech stuff gives me the creeps. That's why we keep it safe.
in the dark about the incident. A few of the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. <sighs> I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see I did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. And we're even. 